Hey guys, welcome back. Before we get started, I want to tell you guys, I'm going to slow down on uh, the videos this year, but you will see new videos, don't worry. I'm not quitting this channel. I just got other stuff to do. And before we get started, uh, check out my playlist for other reinforcement learning videos where I actually display the agent. The problem is I can't in uh, Grid World because it doesn't have a gem render function, you know? So I can render the environment to display, which I show in my other videos. Check out my playlist. Also on the playlist, check out another reinforcement learning for uh, where I, uh, you know, uh, where I do reinforcement learning for um, trading. You know, a finance uh, use case. Check out that video. <clears throat> also, before we get started, um, check out my other videos. This is the full stack of data science, so you will see everything from AI and ML web apps using Streamlit to just basic clustering, classification, and uh, regression. You'll see... Um, not just reinforcement learning, but ML pipelines. You'll see everything on my channel, convolutional neural networks, including turning them into web apps. So anyways, guys, check out my channel. There's a lot on there. There's more you'll see. So import these libraries right here. NumPy is, of course, for scientific computing. Matplotlib is visualization. Check out, import those. Okay, and then with the class function of grid world, which we're going to use to trigger it, we're going to use the self function to create the environment for the grid. Okay, as you can see, the self function. And then with the dev function, we're going to return the self actions. With the dev function for the agent on the map, MP0 is the self height, the self width. And uh, MP0 is for computing it. Return the grid. And then we're going to get the reward for each location. You guys see? Also, guys, uh, make step the self action. As you can see, the agent, if he wants to go up, he's going to get a reward at the last location. And we're going to break a little rule. Remember how I teach you guys to penalize the agent more than you reward him? Well, in this case, you'll see when he makes smart decisions, it pays off. When he makes bad decisions, he gets a negative. So I reward him a little bit, as you guys will see later. And then, guys, uh, the elif action, you guys see, down. Same thing there. The elif function left and right. Let's screen down to those, and then uh, we're going to return the reward. The def check state. It's going to return the terminal. Class random agent with the class function. The available actions. That's pretty self explanatory. And then the, the DQ agent. Remember, guys, reinforcement learning is a program within a program, the RL agent, which we named the Q agent, where we're going to reward him for positive decisions. So we're creating him, and then uh, we're creating his choices with the def choose action. Okay, with a little Boolean logic and the self epilson function. Okay, uh, we're going to return the available actions. If and else statement. If you random choice, that's pretty self explanatory. And then the def learn function. Okay, guys, uh, check out the Q table, which I use in my other reinforcement learning video where we penalize and reward the agent to drive the taxi. The same uh, Q table, only we're using a self function. Check out that video. Okay, and then now there's the dev function for him playing the game. And then we're going to reward, return the reward per episode. And then I'm going to show you guys, literally show you guys. Let's dive into here right now. 
The current location is the old state. The action is the choose action. The reward, and then the new state, the current location. Okay. And then here's where I was talking about. Uh, I gave them one reward for the cumulative reward. Return the reward per episode. Environment, agents, and... Now, here we go. We're using the print function to show what he's doing and where he's at. Okay, he returns. And then we're going to display him with matplotlib. Now, you guys can change the parameters in there, like uh, make the reward zero if you guys want. You guys can add more trials so he has more time to learn. You guys don't have to do exactly what I do. You guys can add to it or tweak it. Sometimes it's better to add, do what I do and tweak it anyways. It's how you learn or discover something. Okay, as you can see, when he moved left, he got that. When he moved right, so apparently he shouldn't be moving up, down a lot of the time. This is grid world, remember? Okay, so anyways guys, remember there was no uh, environment render function, so I couldn't display it. And guys, check out my other video where, remember guys on my other video, where um, I train the RL agent to play Frozen Lake and then we turn it into a video. Check out that video. I got a lot on my channel you guys probably need. If you guys are here for something, there's something else you need. Also, guys, if you like what you see, leave a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe. Now, guys, remember, um, there's a lot on my channel. There's uh, nearly 150 videos. So, and it's all doing different things. So there's probably something you need. And feel free to share my channel too. I've got a lot on my channel. And maybe one of your uh, coworkers, buddies, he might want to learn something. Or take what I do and build on it. Like those ML pipelines I did. Um, you know, he can take on it, apply his own data set for regression or classification. And then build on it. Because um, I teach you all of that on my channel, including using your own data set for convolutional neural networks. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys like my videos. And uh, stay tuned. And don't worry, guys. I will do more videos in the future. I'm not quitting this channel, even though it's uh, not the biggest. Uh, don't worry, guys. Anyways, guys, thank you. Bye.